Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. In this real time video, I'm going to cook a chicken thigh rice、right、dish to address some of the most frequently asked questions about selecting, using, and maintaining a walk. I think the best way for me to demonstrate the functionality of the walk is to cook something in it as you were standing in my kitchen and watching me. One of the best things about a wok is that you can cook different amount of food in it without the need to have frying pans of different sizes. Consequently, you can use the minimum amount of oil for frying in a flat bottom wok like this one. Here's an example of frying 8 ounces of chicken that have been thinly sliced. The wok is designed for stir fry with the heat concentrator at the center of the wok through constant stirring, thinly sliced. Ingredients such as the chicken cook rapidly in the wok. However, the wok can be easily scaled up to cook larger a m o u n t of ingredients. Here shows the same size wok cooking 24 ounces of chicken with equal efficiency and effectiveness.、Uh, I stop stirring at this point to add seasonings to the chicken. The wok allows efficient and effective mixing of the seasoning with the ingredients without concern of spilling the contents. Next, I add cooked rice to the wok as the chicken was about 70% cooked. As you can see, I can cook a small amount in the wok and gradually expand the quantity of the ingredients in the wok. The slope side of the wok prevents things spilling from the wok even when I was breaking up the rice in it. But the wok I'm using here is a 4 inch carbon steel wok, which is the perfect size for home kitchen. A、uh, food tends to stick to carbon steel wok unless it is seasoned. However, a well seasoned carbon steel wok works as well as or even better than a non stick wok. You probably noticed that、uh, some of the rice has stuck to the wok, but I can easily remove the rice using the stainless steel wok spatula as a scraper. Well, you certainly could not do this in a wok with non stick coating without damaging the non stick surface. Uh, I next fry a couple eggs in the wok by、uh, opening up some space in the middle of the wok. By clearing the center of the wok、uh, free of rice, I essentially make a little frying pan.、Uh, the slope of the wok keeps food away from heat coming directly from the stove. Now, this is a unique feature that could not be replicated in a skillet or a frying pan. This makes the wok highly versatile and to be able to cook multiple ingredients in a creative and innovative manner.、Uh, as you can see here, the wok spatula is designed specifically for stir fry. Its shape resembles a shovel. It is known as Guo Chan in Chinese, which means wok shovel. I will not use any other type of spatula to stir fry other than the wok spatula. Uh, I use the push motion to mix the contents in the wok and the shuffle motion to turn the ingredients over. Make sure to use both motion to mix the food. The goal is to mix the food constantly during stir fry to prevent food get s burned in the middle of the wok. However, that sometimes happens, particularly in making fried rice.、Uh, when that happens, I use the wok spatula as a、uh, scraper to scrape off ingredients that might stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, I add some more ingredients, including chopped broccoli and eggplants, to the wok. And now the wok is nearly 50% full. I can still stir fry the contents in the wok readily without spilling any of them. This is the best demonstration of the versatility and scalability of the wok from cooking a single egg to a large batch of fried rice. Uh, nearly all the woks on the market measure 14 inch across the top because any wok that is bigger gets too hot to manage and store. However, any wok that is smaller would not be able to handle a large quantity of food to be cooked, such as shown here. And now they have woks of various sizes on the market, ranging from 8 inch to 14 inches. I will stick with a 14 inch wok unless you are very cramped for space to store the wok. If you want to go for a smaller wok, I will not go smaller than a 12 inch wok. However, my recommendation is to stay with a 14 inch wok because it will give you much greater flexibility and versatility. 
Now here I'm using a natural carbon steel wok without nonstick coating. I used to cook in wok with nonstick coating, but I found that the nonstick coating comes off even I use nothing but wood, plastic, and other non-abrasive spatulas. The high temperature and constant pounding take a toll on the nonstick surface. Uh, I could not damage a carbon steel wok with natural coating with all the stirring and scraping during stir fry. And I could use the standard steel wok spatula with far more efficiency and it is more pleasurable to use than wood or plastic spatula. Now the disadvantage of a carbon steel wok is that it must be properly seasoned to maintain its non-stick property. Ingredients stick to the surface of the wok when it is not seasoned. Everyone fries an egg in an unseasoned carbon steel wok or a cast iron skillet will tell you the mess from this. Uh, however, a properly seasoned carbon steel wok rivals wok with the best non-stick coating. The beauty is that you renew the seasoning of a carbon steel wok over and over again. Based on the research that I have done on different types of woks, as well as my personal experience in cooking with different kinds of wok for over 50 years, I would recommend a carbon steel wok without coating over any woks with non-stick coating. What about cast iron woks, you might ask? Because cast iron cookwares have greater heat retention and more even heat distribution. I have recently tested three different brands of 14-inch cast iron woks, and I like cooking with them with their rock-solid construction and heavy-duty feel. They have the same non-stick property as the carbon steel wok when they are properly seasoned. Unfortunately, on average, a cast iron wok is three times heavier than a carbon steel wok, uh, making them too difficult to handle. Also, cast iron woks do not have insulated handles like most of the carbon steel woks. They are impractical for stir-fry, which requires one to move the wok often. Since the heat holding capacity and even distribution of heat is not an important consideration for stir-fry, cast iron wok would not cook any better food than carbon steel woks. Why? Because in stir-fry, the contents are being stirred constantly, food ingredients never stay in one place, as in simmering or baking, where even heat distribution is an important consideration. Therefore, in summary, I would recommend a 14-inch carbon steel wok with natural coating over any other types of woks. Find a carbon steel wok that you feel comfortable to wok with and get a standard steel wok spatula to go with it. Uh, please feel free to message me if you have any further questions about different kinds of woks and the stir-fry techniques. Uh, if you would like to receive notification of my future postings, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.